G'day, 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 guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm MP Numbers, and we're doing a thing on Arena. So, uh, first things first, I am not a deck builder. I am not someone who has the ability, patience, creativity, whatever you might call it, to sit down and build a deck. But, I've been working on this thing for a little while, putting cards together, which I was going to do a deck tick, but it's just not quite working. But I'm calling, it, I'm calling it Goblin Storm. I believe other people are doing it. I haven't seen any videos myself. I haven't seen any deck techs. I haven't seen any deck lists. But the idea is it's a Goblin Gathering based deck. No creatures. Instant Sorcerers only. Ways to duplicate the spell. Ways to basically get as many Goblins out as possible with the carnival thing that pings them for one when you attack with a creature. Now, I sat down. I was like, oh, there was an arena update. Because I was, I was drafting last night trying to get some ranks up. And let's not talk about that. But... I sat down on my computer today and I was like, oh, something could, maybe there's a new event up. I sat down and I was like, Cascade Constructed. All spells have Cascade. Maybe, in a deck where I'm trying to cast as many spells as possible, get Thousand New Storm up, I can uh, I can maybe do something with the existing goblin. So I have not touched the deck. Honestly, I don't remember where I'm up to with the deck construction. I'll chuck, obviously, a, a screenshot of the deck in now. And, uh, and we'll see we'll see how we go with this Cascade Constructed deck. As always, guys, comments are wide open. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. I want to know what decks are working for you, what decks have not worked for you, what have you played against, what have you played with, all that kind of fun stuff. But look, let's just uh, let's just play some games. Okay, so here goes nothing with my homemade Goblin Storm deck. It's Thousand Year Storm, it's Goblin Gathering, it's Cavalcade of Calamity, and tons of spells, mostly control and removal based but ways to duplicate my spells as well we're playing in the ca the cascade event where each card you cast has cascade so that you exile cards from your library until you reveal one that costs less and you cast that for free so our goal is to build up our head build up our base cast out a new storm get the perfect storm <laughs> and end up with a Goblin Gathering that gets cast about 10 or 20 times again to attack for, for super amounts of damage. We're keeping this here with an opt. The only problem is, we're going to see their entire deck. I don't know if it's a problem, but if you're playing one drops in this format... Nope, maybe you're not. Technically, you should have access to see their entire deck, but it's not, uh, it's not giving you that opportunity. Let's just up straight away. Bye, deck. Nothing. <laughs> That's a cool animation. Uh, goblin Gathering. See, now we don't want to draw Goblin Gathering, so we want to leave the Goblin Gathering into our deck so that we storm slash cascade into it. So now we know when we play our two drop here, whatever it may be, we're going to run into an opt because opt is our only one drop in the deck. That's a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to go here... I think we'll pass, we'll let them... We'll go, ca we'll go Cavalcade into Opt. Yeah, let's do that. Click it. Do the thing. Uh, we want to land? Yeah, we probably want a fourth land here. Why not? We'll draw a land. Cavalcade goes down. We can start building up towards getting our Goblin Gathering. If things go weird here, we can uh, we can Lightning Strike, we can Lava Coil, we can keep up counter spells. We've definitely got our choices here. What is our opponent going to do? Mentor of the Meek. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, or if you cast. Ooh. This one's going to be interesting. That's a, that's a neat little combo you got there, opponent. Uh, I guess we're just holding up Lightning Strike here, really. I guess we play this, we can keep our counter spell or our lava stri uh, Lightning Strike, whatever we feel like. And again, it's going to run us into an op, because op's our only one dropping the deck. Let's counter that. Let's see what two drop we get here. 
Cavalcade, alright. Gotta keep that goblin gathering on. Oh, it's got the veil. We can put the graveyard. No, we'll cut. No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll cast it at some point. What are they here? Another impassioned. They're gonna gain a bit of life here. I don't know if we have any sweepers in this deck. That's one thing we're probably missing. Guess we pay two life to save two life here. Seems worth it, I guess. Pay two life. That one. Give me another opt. Do you want a cast spell? I don't think we do. And we'll pass with Lightning Strike up. That'll cast our final opt. The only problem is we're burning our spells a bit fast here. Because I'd rather obviously be casting multiple spells on my Thousand Year Storm Goblin Gathering turn. We're gonna take six. We're we're pretty much dead here. This is one of the reasons the deck didn't work in normal standard is that uh, it die it dies very quickly to aggressive decks. It, it you know, we've got lightning strikes, we've got ways to to help pick off little creatures here and there. that. And there's our fourth opt. So we're our we got another lightning strike. Okay, okay, okay. Why do we know that... Have we gone through our deck so much that our goblin gathering we know on top? That's interesting. Oh Jesus, oh this is gross. Oh, <laughs> not like this deck. Uh, I mean we can make some blockers. I guess we pay two life for this. Make some blockers, hold up a lightning strike. Ooh. Four damage, oh, let's kill this I guess. Mm. And we got blocks for days. Uh, we end our turn. Lightning strike on the 2-2. Two -two. Block the 5-5. Five -five. Uh, this is three creatures or more, isn't it? Yeah. Counts itself. Kill this. Nothing to cascade into, unfortunately. Nothing but play deck. And opponent gets Legion's Landing. Oh Jesus. Maybe our deck has too many two drops to be good here. Should cast that first. Why do they not cascade? Oh. Interesting, interesting. If we draw another land, we can make a bunch of goblins. I'm not sure what we're hitting off the top here. Tormenting Voice. Um, yeah, we can cast Tormenting Voice, discard a Cavalcade. Not sure what we're drawing, but... Another Goblin Gathering. 
Oh, they're all taps. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, it's only the first village turn. Ah, oh, it's only the first village turn. Huh. Otherwise, it'd go infinite. Huh. All right. So round one, not so great. Maybe we were off with this Goblin Storm thing being good, but let's let's run it back. See if we can get a win. <laughs> Rogue OPs. Rogue Ops. Alright, let's jam this. So, four lands. Three two drops. Seems okay, right? We kill the first thing, kill the second thing, play this, draw into something good. These are all Ops as well, remember? Ops. Ops. Another land is not what we wanted to see. Let's uh, let's play this, but it's on blue white. Have we gone from aggro to control? No, we have not. Reveals. All right. So apparently, apparently, one drop white aggro is the way to go in this format, based on our two opponents that we've seen so far. Um, let's kill this. Get our opt in. Thank you. Lightning strike on top is perfect for me. And with our opponent go. Next turn. We might kill the birdie, we might kill something else, we don't know yet. Let's wait and see what happens. Cool, so we're gonna kill that. And gets a kite sail cord. So there are supposed on white blue flyers. White blue sky stuff. Kill this, opt again. There it is. Thousand year storm getting ever shuffled to the bottom of the library land we do not want. Favorable wins. Oh, this is dirty. This deck, you know what this deck needs? This deck needs. Because we're trying to quave. Essence scatter would have been nice about five turns ago. And there's my opt. Bed on the bottom, draw a tormenting voice. Alright, we'll hold up an essence scatter. Opponents at twenty seven. We have not cast a relevant spell yet, and it looks like we're not going to be able to. Because that is 7 damage. Well, we're going to Tormenting Voice. Don't know what we're looking for here. Opt's going to resolve first, if there's an Opt left in our deck. Still not going to be anywhere near enough. Uh, yeah, that's the end of our turn. <laughs> Put it here for five. Put it goes to twenty nine. We draw another counter spell. I don't, I don't think that uh, this worked, kids. Uh, obviously, you know, leave your opinions in the comments below, but I, d I don't think this one quite got us where we wanted to get to. 
Uh, so that'll that'll be the end of this one. But hey, look, we tried. Uh, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to think about what actually might work in this format. Uh, I'm going to come back and, and put some more videos up. So, sure, we get 50 gems back, 50 coins back, and two cards we don't care about. So my final word of warning, guys, don't try this at home. It looks like so far, I mean, the two games we played, the meta is to go aggressive, play your one drop, play your two drop, curve into a, cascade into a one drop, and just keep building up your chain. Uh, it seems to be a good idea. Keep let's keep an eye out the channel. Like if you dislike. No, like if you like. Dislike if you dislike. Chuck a subscription if you want to see more. Uh, and of course, in the comments, yeah, look, let me know. Have you done this event? What worked? What didn't work? What have you seen? What have you had fun with? All that kind of fun stuff. Thank you very much. I've been MP Numbers. Nice short video today. Bye.